Hey everyone, it's Paul Mayer. I've got a project for you today. I've been making these business card holders, which you could also scale up just slightly and use it as a wallet. Uh, this holds a pretty good stack of cards and it's enclosed so you can, you can close it. It holds it closed so that it won't accidentally open and I use a rare earth magnet for that. I'll provide a source for you uh, down in the description below. And you're able to uh, slide it open, prop it up, prop the cards up using the finger hole in the bottom peel off a card, hand it out, close it, put it back uh, away. And, and very simple to make. Uh, people love getting these as gifts. I think you could sell them as well if you were so inclined. Um, and I'll uh, walk you through step by step. Please don't hesitate. If you have questions, let me know below. I'm pretty prompt usually about getting back with responses. So please fire them away. The first thing that we're going to do is rip a thin strip of walnut that's going to be used as the outside of the case and then we're going to rip a thin strip of maple that's going to be used as the drawer base. Next we're going to rip a 7 16 inch strip of walnut that will be used as the spacer for the outside box. Next, use a white charcoal pencil to draw the cut lines on the spacer as shown in the diagram earlier in the video. Next, we're going to use a bandsaw to make the cuts on the inside of the spacer unit. I found that a bandsaw works best here uh, rather than a table saw, which is a little bit too harsh for the fragile uh, pieces, and uh, better than a scroll saw, which is a little harder to get the nice straight lines that you can get with the bandsaw. Then just cut the spacer unit to length. Then use your spacer as a measuring device to set the fence using that distance to then rip two pieces of the outside skin out of the thin strips of walnut. Then use a flat mill file to smooth out the cuts that you made on the spacer unit. Then take a 3 8 inch Forstner bit and drill a shallow recess in the center of the spacer unit and then put a dab of super glue in there and then you're going to set a 3 8 inch washer in place that'll work as the receiving end of the magnet that you'll install later. Then press it into place with the pliers. I found that the washer was protruding just a little bit. It was slightly off center so I just hit it with a few strokes with the file and it was all better. Using the template provided earlier draw an arced line that will serve as the access port for the finger hole in the drawer and then cut that out on the scroll saw. Use a curved file to sweeten up the cut that you made on the scroll saw. Take your time here and really examine the profile and make sure you like it. Now it's time to glue up the carcass. So what you're going to do here is just apply a very thin layer of glue uh, on all of the surfaces. This is a very small project, doesn't need a tremendous amount of holding power. So a thin layer is all you're going to need. Be careful to not get excessive squeeze out uh, in the inside of this because it's very difficult to clean out. So you want to be as uh, conservative as you can when applying glue so you don't uh, have a big mess on your hands. Next put the drawer bottom material in place inside of the carcass and measure the remaining gap. This will equal the thickness of the drawer side material which should be about 5 16 but here's where you just need to make sure that it matches your exact findings. Then you're going to rip a section of your drawer box material to the thickness that you determined in the previous step and in my case that was 5 16 Now draw a line to mark the length of the drawer box at 4 inches then set a business card in the center and trace it. Then drill a hole somewhere in the middle of the business card outline that's large enough to thread a scroll saw blade. Then go ahead and cut out the middle on the scroll saw, being sure to take the line and cut as straight as you can uh, so that you leave plenty of room for all your business cards. Then just like we did before, go ahead and sweeten up those cuts with the mill file. Then you can stack your drawer parts together and cut them to length on a band saw or whatever saw you'd like to use. 
Then, just like before, you're going to put a thin bead of glue, wipe it nice and thin, and then put a, uh, enough clamps around the perimeter to hold it all together while the glue dries. Then use a 3 quarter inch Forstner bit to drill a hole through the bottom of the drawer. Be sure to have a backer board so that you don't have any blowout as you push through the uh, drawer bottom. Now sand everything nice and flush and an oscillating belt sander works great for this because it covers up its tracks as it goes. Now you're going to chuck up a quarter inch Forstner bit and make a recess deep enough for a rare earth magnet. Then you're going to put a drop or two of super glue in place, set the magnet in place and push it down as hard as you can and make sure it's seated fully. Then take a small round over bit and put a rounded profile on the sides and the bottom edges. Do not use it to round over the top edges because that wood is too thin uh, and you'll just gouge your piece. Then it's time for sanding. We want to make this piece feel really smooth. So I turned a random orbital sander on its back, turned it to a lower speed, and just sanded everything out as smooth as I could. Then I switched to hand sanding where I actually set the sandpaper down on the workbench uh, and used the uh, work piece of just stroking it back and forth on the sandpaper making sure to round over those edges and clean everything up really nicely. You don't want any sharp edges. Everything's got to be smooth as silk. Now it's time for some finishing. You can put whatever you want on here for finish. I used walnut oil because it's non-toxic and I'm crazy about how it looks. Uh, and it's one of the keys to this project in terms of finishing is getting it uh, all finished on the inside. And so for that, I used a, a towel, little a small piece of a towel with a, um, a small screwdriver just to get down in there really well. It worked great. Uh, just take your time and make sure you cover all the surfaces. This kind of project, I think, just kind of begs for personalization, especially if you're selling this. You could probably charge an extra $10 or more for putting someone's name or logo on this. Uh, I just engraved my name on it, and I've been engraving these for, for friends and family, uh, putting their name on there as well. So uh, if you have a laser engraver, this is a great time to use it. Well, that about wraps this one up. Thanks for watching. I hope you're inclined to build a few of these. Uh, very fun project to make and really nice to give these out as gifts or sell them on your Etsy shop. Please uh, let me know if you have questions and hope you'll subscribe to the Toolmetrics channel for more woodworking, DIY, and tool videos coming your way.